Today, we embark on thrilling journey through the realms of probability. Get ready to unlock the secrets of chances, uncertainty and endless possibility. Hey there, welcome to our channel, Bit Science. In this video, we will be covering the following topic. Definition of probability, important terms and concepts, rules of probability, union of sets, properties of probability and numericals on probability. Namaste. Welcome to Bit Science. Unlock the secrets of life and technology with our comprehensive biology and computer science education. Probability is a measure of the likelihood or chance that a particular event will occur, which means it is often expressed as a number between 0 and 1, where 0 represents an impossible event and 1 represents a certain event. The formula for probability as follows. Probability helps us understand and predict the outcomes of various situations. For example, tossing of a coin, deck of cards, weather forecast, and medical testing. Let's understand some important terms and concepts. Random experiment or trial. A random experiment is any nature or planned activity for which it is not possible to predict the particular result. It is also called a trial or an observation. Events. The possible outcomes of experiments or observations of a trial are called events. Let's understand rules of probability, which consist of addition rule for total probability and multiplication of compound rule or joint probability. To understand this in details, we need to understand the union of set. The union of two or more set is a new set formed by using all the elements of both or all the sets. For example, set A. We have 1, 2, 3. And set B, we have 2, 3, 4. For A union B, set A, set B would be used. And we would find that 1, 2, 3, 4, the common ground, forms the union of A and B, which is also shown in the Venn diagram. Intersection of set. Intersection of two sets is another set which consists of all those elements which are common to both the sets. For example, set A, 1, 2, 3, set B, 2, 3, 4. So here, if we see the common intersection is 2 and 3. Also remember how an intersection of sets are being represented here. Now let's understand the rules of probability better. First, well is addition. The addition rule states that the probability of occurrence of either one of two mutually exclusive events is the sum of their individual probability. In other words, if A and B are two mutually exclusive events, then the probability of either A or B occurring is given by probability of A or B equals to probability of A plus probability of B. The next rule is multiplication rule. The multiplication rule states that the probability of the occurrence of two independent events is the product of their individual probability. In other words, if A and B are two independent events, then the probability of both A and B occurring is given by probability of A and B equals to probability of A multiplied by probability of B. Third is complement rule. The complement rule states that the probability of complement of an event is equal to 1 minus the probability of the event. In other words, if A is an event, then the probability of not A or a complement of A is given by probability of not A is equal to 1 minus A by A. We will understand it better by using it in the problem solving question. And before moving ahead to problem solving question, we have one more important thing to understand, which is the properties of probability. Probability is always a value between 0 and 1. Let's understand. Probability of an event happening can never be less than 0 or greater than 1. Is the probability of an event is 0? It means that the event is impossible. And if the probability is 1, it means that event is certain to occur. Second one, sum of the probabilities of all possible outcomes is 1. Let's understand. When we consider all possible outcomes of an event, the sum of the probabilities of each outcome must add up to 1. Plus, because only one of the possible outcomes can occur. Third, probability can be expressed as fraction, decimal, or percentage, which means the probability of an event can be expressed in different ways, such as fraction, it can be 1 by 2, decimal, it can be 0 0.5, or percentage, 
can be 50 plus 4th. The complement of an even is equal to 1 minus the probability of the even, which we also covered the rules of probability. Let's understand. The component of an even is the probability of the even not happening. For example, if the probability of rolling a sick on a dice is 1 by 6, then the probability of not rolling a 6 is 5 by 6. I hope you can understand this part. If not, please comment down below. 5. The probability of the union of two events is the sum of their possibilities minus the probability of their intersection. Let's understand. The union of two events is the probability of either one or both of the events occurring. The intersection of two events is the probability of both events occurring. And the probability of the union of two events can be calculated by adding their probabilities and then subtracting the probabilities of their intersection. If you have been to understand this properly, you can go through union of sets again. 6. The probability of independent events can be calculated by multiplying their individual probability. Let's understand. Independent events are events where the occurrence of one event does not affect the probability of the occurrence of another event. The probability of the intersection of independent events can be calculated by multiplying their individual probability. I hope you could understand properties of probability. Now let's move to some very exciting problem solving questions. So our first question goes like, find the probability of getting an even number in a single throw with a die. So you all might have already played with dice and you know already the number of dice that possibly you can get. So the possible cases in the throw of a dice are 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Here, favorable cases are 2, 4, 6 because we need to understand the probability of getting an even number. So we will be focusing only for the even number. And these are 3 in numbers. Therefore, the probability of getting an even number will be 3 by 6 as per the formula that we have already covered where 6 is the total number of events which is going to be 1 by 2. Now let's solve the next question. What would be the probability of getting tail in a throw of a coin? So why don't you pause the video and try to solve it? Let's see if you have got the same answer. When a coin is tossed, there are two possible outcomes, head or tail. Number of favorable cases is going to be 1. So therefore, probability of getting a tail is going to be 1 by 2. I hope you got the answer. Let's check the third one. A dice is rolled. What will be the probability that the number 1 or 6 may appear on the upper face? Hmm. This might look a little tricky, but this is very easy. The probability of appearing 1 on the upper face would be 1 by 6. Also, the probability of appearing 6 on the upper face would be 1 by 6. Therefore, the probability... 1 or 6. Appearing on the face would be 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6. It is going to be 1. I hope you can understand. If you have understood this, I am definitely sure that you can solve the next question. Let's see. A bag contains 5 white and 7 red flowers. Find out the probability of taking out of the bag of each type of flowers. Why don't you pause the video and solve the question yourself? Let's understand now. Total number of flowers is going to be 5 plus 7 equals to be 12. Total number of events taking out one flower is equal to 12. Number of events of taking out one white flower would be 5. Probability of taking out one white flower is going to be 5 by 12. The next one is for the red flower. Number of events of taking out one red flower would be 7. And probability of taking out red flowers is going to be 7 by 12. Now, to understand the probability of getting a white or a red flower, we have to use addition. So probability of A plus probability of B. So we add up 5 by 12 plus 7 by 12 and we get that 1. I hope you could understand this video. We have more parts on probability. If you have any doubts, stay here. Please add comments below. You can also connect us through other social media platforms. I am Dr. Sarkar and this is Bit Science. I will see you again for the next video. Thanks for watching.